A. Problem number three in the consolidation of soil. So we'll move ahead with the third problem. The statement goes as follows: The average effective overburden pressure on the 10 meter thick homogeneous saturated clay layer is 150 kilopascal. Nothing but 150 kilonewton per meter square. The consolidation test on the undisturbed soil sample taken from a clay layer showed that the void ratio was decreased from 0.6 to 0.5 by increasing the stress intensity from 100 kPa to 300 kPa. And uh, the last thing for the first part is the initial void ratio of the clay sample in the field is and the options were 0 0.209, 0 0.5563 and uh, 0 0.7 four six and d option is one and uh, the next in the next continuation to this part they have asked us to evaluate the total consolidation settlement of the clay because of the construction of the structure which is imposing an additional stress remember additional stress meaning that delta p or the delta sigma dash this is the delta sigma dash which is nothing but equals to 200 kpa so what, 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 what was the the uh, final settlement because of the addition additional imposement of this particular 200 kilopascal of the stress so we will uh, move ahead with this problem so we'll deal with the uh, first part so as far as the first part is considered they have asked us to evaluate the initial void ratio of the clay which is nothing but e naught value they have asked so for the uh, first part i'll uh, proceed with the in the next uh, slide for the first part e naught was asked but the delta which is given as goes as follows the we have given the average uh, vertical water burden pressure on the 10 meter thick clay layer this 10 meter thick clay layer is 150 average pressure so p average effective given it as 150 kilopascal so this is the existing case so this is at field case this is the i call it as the initial condition so the void ratio corresponding to 150 kpa thus becomes e naught so e naught will be corresponding to corresponding to stress equal to 150 kilopascal because initially we have the clay strata is acting over 150 kilonewton per meter square of the overburden pressure so therefore uh, we proceed with this problem but for that we have taken the sample of the clay we have tested it in the lab and the lab results shows that the uh, value for the I will take it as a log p dash versus e curve the value from 0.6 to 0.5 word ratio was decreased by increasing the stress intensity from 100 to 300 kilopascal so this is 100 and this is 300 and the value corresponding to e is 0.6 and this particular value is 0.5 so remember the this particular expression this particular line is a straight line so it's not the curve this is straight line why it's a straight line because it is for the normally consolidated soils normally consolidated clay and cc since in the problem it is not being mentioned in the problem if you just take a look at it the initial pressure was given it as just the five, 150 kPa since the pre consolidation stress is not given and also they have not commented about the anything they will consider that this is a normally consolidated clay because for over consolidated soils the story is altogether different I assume that the pre consolidation is the pressure is less than the 100 for a conservative site and hence uh, the slope of this particular line is nothing but the compression index for normally consolidated clays so therefore for the uh, this particular case the cc becomes equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 divided by log to the base 10 300 by 100 
So you'll get this EC value as I'll get uh, you will get it as 0.21. CC doesn't carry any unit because it's just a slope. So the CC value will get it as 0 0.209 something, but so I'll cut it in 0 0.009 into 1. I'll carry it over, so it's 0 0.21. Now we know the slope of this particular line, but the existing condition in the field is the soil is being imposed initially to a stress value equals to 150 kilopascals. So for 150 kilopascals, something midway here it will lie. So we have been asked to calculate this particular value of E0. So this is 150 kilopascal. So the but the slope, it's a straight line, the slope will remain the same. So I'll take this particular two point into consideration, this and this point. So therefore, the CC equals to 0.21, which is equals to 0.6 minus E0 divided by log to the base 10, this particular 150 divided by 100. So you'll get the 0.6 minus E0 equals to 0.21 into log to the base 10 of 1.5, you'll get 0 0.03. 6.9 so 0 0.037 I'll take so therefore E0 that is initial word ratio will become uh, 0.6 minus 0 0.037 so it will be 0 0.563 E0 E0 will be 0 0.563 and if you take a look at the option uh, you'll get the option as B correct 0 0.563 so this is the the first part in the, this particular question in the second part we have been asked to evaluate the consolidation settlement of this particular clay layer because of the additional imposement of the stress rate data p dash is given it has 200 kilopascal but uh, for for the calculation of the uh, settlement purpose since it's it is for normal consolidated soils we'll take delta h as we will use the same formula divided by 1 plus e naught into log to the base 10 p plus delta p divided by p this is p naught i will consider initial stresses and we have seen this particular formula and we also derived this particular formula from the basic concept from the definition of the cc and all so uh, so we'll begin with the this particular second part over here only so we know the value of cc it has 0.21 the cc value will not change because the cc is unique for a soil so uh, therefore cc you known to you is known to you e naught value is known to you which is 0 0.563 yeah 0 0.563 and also the delta p is known to you which is nothing but 200 kilopascal the initial existing pressure p naught is known to you average it is 150 kilopascal that's all so you know everything and also h is also known to you equals to the 10 meter so everything is known to you so just you need to place these all values and uh, you need to calculate this particular delta h as cc into h value 10 into log to the base 10 p which is 150 plus 200 is 350 divided by p naught 150 divided by 1 plus e naught E0 is 0.563. So if you place all these particular values, you will get the consolidation settlement delta H as uh, you need to calculate this uh, in, in, in your scientific calculator. So you will get the value as uh, delta H as 0 0.4944 meters. So that means 500 uh, millimeters you will get closely delta H or 0.5 meter. So if you take a look at the options. Uh, yeah, you'll find the option uh, D is just matching 0.5 meter. So this finishes the third problem. We'll move ahead with the uh, fourth problem. Thank you.